The Utah Utes took the stage first at the Onison River Theater on the Riverwalk, trying to fire up their fan base for the Valero Alamo Bowl pep rally. The Utes had nearly 40 Polynesians on their team, and they had the backbone of the program for several years now in an effort to showcase their culture. Several players took the opportunity to perform the traditional war dance. Very cool. There's the Utes mascot, Swoop the Eagle, getting amped up thanks to the Utah band taking a ride on the river while the cheerleaders were dancing on the main stage. But then it came time for the Longhorns to take over. Hey, I like the energy. I like the energy. We're in San Antonio. An hour down the street. With my little old man's up. Make some noise. Make some noise. We got the best fans in the country. I see a lot of more orange out there. It feels like a home game. And we can't wait to see you guys on Tuesday. Hook them. All right, that was Colin Johnson, Longhorns wide receiver. They returned to Texas for a senior season, which has been riddled with injuries, but he's ready to go now. Needless to say, it was a predominantly Texas crowd tonight. The stands were filled to the brim with Burnt Orange saying hello to Hook'em, the Longhorn, alongside the Texas cheerleaders. And the Longhorn band takes their own ride down the river walk. A great way to get pumped up for game day. And now Texas has won both of their bowl games in the Tom Herman era. Both came against SEC teams, Missouri and Georgia. Sam Ellinger was a factor in those games, completing 30 of 42 passes or 296 yards and four touchdowns. He was named the Sugar Bowl MVP for his performance against the Bulldogs last year. But with some major changes made to the coaching staff in recent weeks, what does Sam think about Texas preparation for this year's Alamo Bowl against Utah? This week we've had one of the, one of the crisper, pra crisper um, practice weeks that we've had all season and guys are just flying around having fun um, and playing the game that they love so um, I'm really excited to, to get back on the field with them. The Longhorns have found their next offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach. Texas announced this afternoon that they have hired Ohio State passing game coordinator and quarterbacks coach Mike Yursich. Yursich helped coach the Buckeyes to college football playoff semifinals this season. Also spent time as Oklahoma State's offensive coordinator for six seasons. Meanwhile, the Texas defense will look very different without Todd Orlando calling the shots. Orlando was relieved of his duties soon after the end of the regular season. With that in mind, Utah's offense knows they have to be ready for anything and everything. You have to have a starting point to go off of, so we're going off of what we're seeing on tape. We feel very confident in our preparation so far, and that, that needs to put us in a great position to adjust on the fly, which is going to be an absolute necessity in this football game. All right, and here is a matchup on New Year's Eve, Utah against Texas, Tuesday night, 630 in the Alamo Dome.